So, as you see, I'm playing a Paul Stanley PS10. Correct? Incorrect. It's a Paul... It's autographed by Paul. Well, the plate is. It's got EMGs. I bought it that way. Um, I never play this. I put the this on because... Uh, but it's it's a IC300. Plays fine. The strings are really old. But other than that, it you know... To me, I'm like, this looks good enough for me. I do have my a PS10. I got black and the shattered mirror, but this is the one I play. If I play. But I hate EMGs. I still got to switch those out. But... Play this guitar in many 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 years so anyways I was a uh, thank you again for the thousand subscribers I threw up a video of me burning a the acoustic that one that I shot twice and tried to burn never burned it so I took off all the hardware went out there with my own sonic sword and just lit that sucker up last night and of course I dropped the camera so you get as soon as the guitar crumbles I, I'm like, oh, and I drop the camera and it shuts off. So I pick the camera back up and uh, so you got about 10, 12 minutes of a burning acoustic guitar. Flames got pretty high. It looks cool if you like fire. Fire, fire. And someone gave me a good idea of what to do, so I'm going to do that next. Uh, I think it was Paolo. And uh, there you go. Um, so as you see, Ozzy's putting out videos. Now it's easy to make a video and it's easy to, uh, to get a guy medicated enough to get through the video. Especially, especially if the guy's sitting down, he's in a cloak and all he's got to do is, he can do that. I mean, he can like, you know, he would be sitting, this is just from my personal, so I'm not just, you know, going off gossip because I, I can't stand that. Need to back it up. So I'd see him, he'd just be like this. Sharon would say something to him, and he'd like, really? And then, yes, will you please do this? And he'd get up, and he'd do it. And then he'd sit back down, and he'd just... That's Ozzy, man. And let, I mean, around her. I, 
I never partied with a guy ever, so I don't know, and I never really talked to anybody about his partying except for his over partying. Like, once Randy admitted to me, I wish he didn't drink so much. It's really hard to record because apparently the first album, they would like do one or two lines, then he'd pee or throw up or pass out and then get him ready and then they would literally have to piece the songs together like that. Sometimes he could do it in one day, other times it took him a week. But his Ozzy's vocals and Randy's guitars, the layering and the leads took up the time and then of course the mixing. But, you know, the guitar of course is important, but the leads, dude, you should be able to knock that out pretty quick. I mean, and everybody knows that you, everybody doubles their lead, their vocals. Everybody. I I had no idea that happened until I started uh, recording albums. And I'm like, what do you mean? You got to sing the lead over. I mean, you got to sing the vocal over. We, they always double their vocals. I'm like, isn't that hard? He goes, isn't that hard doing doubling your guitar? I'm like, I don't double my leads. I didn't. I didn't at first. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, I didn't even occur to me until I realized what like Randy was doing like three or four lead tracks, usually three, one to the left, one to the right, and the center. And uh, and you can hear it. And otherwise, it would have sounded really teeny with that friggin' super distortion or that distortion plus sound. But anyway, so he puts out this video, rip off of the dirt, obviously, but whatever. Sharon was in charge of that. Sharon's in, in charge of everything at to some point, whatever. Hiring and, and okaying things and all that. That's why the girl in that video looks nothing like Sharon did at that time. Sharon was a cow, not attractive. She used to cry all the time because people would find out that Ozzy married her, really? Or Ozzy's leaving his wife for that? Really? Why? There's something got to be something behind it. There was. He didn't give a crap. He was just drinking and drugging. And while he was doing that, he became famous again. More famous than he was in Sabbath. And it was because of Randy Rhodes. Just as many people were there to see Randy as they were to see Ozzy. And I do not hate Ozzy. I don't dislike him. I feel bad for the guy. Because he's been used his whole life. So... You know, I've always been mad. You know, you know, Randy was taken too early, and it was a murder suicide. I don't care if anybody else says, look into it. And uh, so it sucks because she just Sharon bulldozed on, and even made Ozzy go on Letterman like a few days after it happened. And you could tell Ozzy was just drunk enough to get out there. And then Letterman starts to ask him about the crash, and he's like, you know, it was horrible. I don't want to talk about it. You can see him just about ready to cry, and I'm like, he, he shouldn't even be doing this. They should have canceled everything. But on a business side, it is absolutely what you should do. It's, it's heartless. It's cold. But <laughs> look at Sharon. She's sitting pretty. So she's got this whole acting thing where she's going to act on stage. And so she wants to get the husband happy. He's been going crazy at home, whining to everybody about he wants to do an album and he wants to go out and finish the tour. He'd actually like to do the no, what is it, the no more tours, tour two. It'd actually be like three, but whatever. But it sounds better, no more tours, tour two. No more tours, tour two, two, something, whatever. So the new album is something that has already been done. I can't remember the title. But I just watched this Straight to Hell video, which is filmed down here in, uh, on, a sound, on a lot. I knew about it, but then it's just Ozzy. And Slush is playing guitar. He actually said in an interview that he felt... So, he felt Wow, wow, I never thought I'd be able to, you know, replace Randy... Dude, you're not replacing Randy Rhodes. You'll never replace Randy... You can't even replace... I can't think of... Me! 
You suck that bad. Slash is just overrated. He doesn't suck. He could probably, you know, wipe the floor with me. But, when they did that album, he sucked. And he was a drug addict. And he wasted millions of dollars. Him and the whole band, because they didn't know what they were doing. But they squeezed an album out of him. And they used some help. There was help there. There was guys that played on that album that aren't even credited. They were just given a flat rate. Because no one thought this would ever go anywhere. Alphatag for Destruction, I'm talking about. Because that's who's playing on this, this, these couple of songs. It was Duff and the Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer who seems to always be there for every project. And uh, Slush played guitar on it. Which I don't, I didn't think the guitar was that good anyways. I'm like, wow, it's not Zach. It sounds weak. That's why. Flash. <laughs> Even I could get a heavier sound than that numbskull. And his big sound that everybody, you know, oh, look at the sound he got on Apple Tower for That was the amp that belonged to the studio. And the guitar, the 59 Les Paul, belonged to the studio. And the modified Marshall Plexi. That he got that great sound. So when he start, went out on the road and he wasn't getting that great sound, he had, what did I use? And they gave it to him. You know, back then, you could pick those stuff up for nothing. A 59 Les Paul in the 80s, 300 bucks, 350 bucks, maybe. That's all I got to really say is they're pushing him. Sharon's pushing him through this. He might tour. He might not. He might do a few dates here, a few dates there. I was going to say more like Mount Molly Crew. I don't think it's wise that they keep showing clips from the Dirt Band playing stuff. Because a lot of people are going to go there expecting to see that Motley Crew that I saw in the 80s, which I haven't seen since. Especially in 2015. That was like... Oh, please end this. Please stop it. And now they're... No. Nah. Unless... No. It, it, actually, not if a miracle happens. Because look at Mick. That's in... Uh, you can't reverse what's happened to him. And he was a big part of that band, no matter what you want to think. i got to wrap it up. Again, as usual. But uh, I don't think it's wise that they do that. They should be putting out. They should be putting nothing out. They should just do something. But don't quit using that band that they used in the movie because that's what everybody's gonna expect to see this summer. I'm not going. But if you are, tell me why. Maybe you never saw them before. I hope you are. You know, get your money's worth. But uh, yeah, I saw the real deal that never happened again i lost interest after the you know shout of the devil i went to the concerts up to well actually i went to the one when vince came back in the 90s which was just a where they allowed video cameras anybody could bring a video so i brought it went to two shows and out in uh orange pavilion videotape both of them they sucked <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh Molly Crew versus the world or whatever, the earth. Bad idea. I don't think they should be doing this. Even though they've already made over $14 million And they haven't even hit the road yet. So, who's an idiot? <laughs> Alright, so, thanks for the subscriptions. Keep going, because I need to keep them going. And, no one's commenting on that White Sister song. I love that band. That is a, it was a great band. And that guitar player had a uh, Sandoval V instead of polka dots. There were stars. I thought it was badass looking. I want to get one made like his. His name is Rick Chaddock, White Sister. Listen to the song. You can hear a little bit of Randy influence in there because he had the same stuff except no distortion plus at the beginning of the chain to thin the song. You know, ah, this whole thing. And as far as the... Uh, guy in the slow recording he vanished into thin air so i knew that would happen and i got people that have also heard other 
shows that they had tuned down. They didn't always play exact tuning of the album because Ozzy couldn't hit the notes. And they tuned down a whole step on some of those songs, which they did always in Sabbath. He See, he didn't know. You know, a whole step down, two whole steps down, standard tuning. He just gets up there and sings. Whatever. So there you go. There you go. You can see that again. You can see the uh, Paul. And, you know. Hey, at least the uh, mirrored stuff looks cool, right? But the MG's got to go. All right. Comment. Subscribe. See you guys later.